Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Mountain Standard Time. My name's Rob, and today guys, we have a real quick review or uh, show and tell of this uh, Seiko 5 that I just picked up. Um, Macy's was having a really great sale uh, over the weekend, and I think it's, uh, I think it was getting ready for Father's Day or a Father's Day sale, and uh, that basically, kind of triggered an idea of, hey, let's get this watch. It'd be a great gift uh, for someone special. And uh, it just came in the mail today, so here it is. in uh, up and close and in person. Um, so yeah, this one is the uh, the Green Dial Seiko 5. And it's, it's uh, got the gold indices and the, the gold hands with the uh, the loomed hands and everything. So um, green um, stainless steel bezel on that, um, gold lettering, just the green and the gold is a perfect combination for this watch. Here on the back, we've got the uh, good old Seiko 4R36 movement. It's an automatic movement. So when you move your wrist around, that rotor right there that's you know hanging down right now will be uh, swinging around and winding your watch for you while you wear it. So um, pretty cool shot. Oh, there it was moving. I just saw it move. <laughs> With this movement, the second hand beats six times a second or 21,600 beats per hour. And uh, you can see here that the crown has crown guards on the side of the case, and the crown's at the four o'clock position. So here's what it looks like on the wrist. Uh, I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist, and uh, the bracelet has not been sized yet, so I'm kind of holding on to it with my other hand. You can still see the stickers on the, uh, the bracelet there. Uh, to prevent it from getting scratched up in shipment. We'll keep them on there and uh, I'll let the person who's getting this watch remove those stickers. It's always kind of the fun part of getting a new watch, removing stickers. Uh, so yeah, a really, really nice watch. These uh, Seiko 5s, they have replaced the Seiko SKXs that are no longer uh, in production. It's a good, um, follow-on watch for the SKXs. Some people have uh, had an issue with some of the features that were dropped with the SKX, but honestly, um, you know, some things that were added to this Seiko 5, you now can hack and you now can manually wind this watch, which you couldn't do with the SKXs. Um, one thing that this Seiko 5 doesn't have is the uh, ISO rating for it being a dive watch. So um, honestly, it's really not going to make a difference for 99.9% .9 of the people on the planet here. <laughs> so uh, again, this is a great daily wearing watch, um, very reasonably priced. And I would argue that it, it is the biggest bang for the buck watch out there for uh, not spending a lot of money, but getting a really nice timepiece. Another cool thing about this watch I discovered is the uh, day disc on this watch. Notice that Saturday is blue and Sunday is red and the rest of the uh, weekdays come up as black. So kind of a roulette wheel uh, vibe going on with the uh, the day feature of this watch. So let's go through a couple of the specs. It's got a 10 bar water resistance on this watch, so pretty good water resistance. Again, you're not diving with this watch. It's 13.6 millimeters thick, 46 millimeters lug to lug, 41 millimeters wide with the bezel, and the bracelet is 22 millimeters wide between the lugs there. And with the magic of me moving my camera over to where the sun is still shining, we can get some really good shots of this watch with the sunburst effect on that green dial and how the gold and the green just really pop in the sunlight there. How you can see with the, uh, the green bezel, how there's kind of a metallic 
sheen to it as well. Really cool watch. Um, I probably should have taken the video in the sunlight the whole time, but here we go. <laughs> and after it's been in the sun for a while, the loom really kicks in. So here's somewhat of a loom shot, kind of uh, in the shade in my garage here. And the loom is kicking. Um, Seiko's really good at looming their watches. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and wrap it up here with this beautiful shot. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, we'll catch you later.